1041 using accounts and preparing and maintaining a chart of accounts. We have four learning objectives. You need to be able to construct a chart of accounts for a service business organized as a proprietorship. You need to be able to demonstrate correct principles for numbering accounts. You need to be able to apply file maintenance principles to update a chart of accounts. And you need to be able to complete the steps necessary to open general ledger accounts. Um, what they're showing us first is just what an account form looks like. Um, and we'll get into this a little bit more later on. Um, but an account form is really just used to summarize all of the changes that take place in that single account. Um, we're going to have a separate form for each account that we have. Now, when we look at this, they're showing us kind of the relationship of a T account to an account form. Um, really, when we wrote a T account, we had the account name on top with the T, and then we had our debits and credits on the right. Here, we're still having our account name on, on top, and then here is our debits and our credits. So here is like our T that we see. What they've added on here now is our balance of our account for us to keep track of the balance as different things happen to that account. Now, this is an example of a chart of accounts. We've seen this before, um, but now we're going to go a little more in depth into that chart of accounts. So notice um, up at the top, we're going to see who the company is. Oops, sorry about that. We're going to see who the company is. Um, over on the left side, they're labeled as balance sheet accounts, and we can see that we have our assets, our liabilities, and our owner's equity. On our right side, we have what we call our income statement accounts, and that is our revenue and our expense accounts. We can see that they are divided up into those groups by numbers, too. So notice assets are 100 accounts, liabilities are 200 accounts, and so forth. Now, when we put a group of um, these accounts together, we call that a ledger. A general ledger is the ledger that contains all accounts needed to prepare financial statements. The name that we give to an account is called an account title. And the number that we assign to that account is simply called the account number. So they are showing us the example of supplies. Supplies is given the number 150, um, and we give that a couple reasons. Here we see our general ledger division. So one goes in the assets. Remember I said assets are a 100 account. So that one is simplifying or is signifying that it is an asset. Then the next two numbers are showing where that asset falls in the general ledger. So that 50 is showing where it falls within assets. File maintenance is the procedure for arranging accounts in a general ledger, assigning account numbers, and keeping records current. So here we have two expense accounts. We have our miscellaneous expense and we have our supplies expense. Notice it's listed as 560 and 570. Now, so expense accounts are listed alphabetical order. And so what they're showing is now we're going to add in a new account. We have a new account that comes up called postage expense. Postage expense is going to fall between miscellaneous and supplies. Okay, Miscellaneous is 560, supplies is 570. Then to put it where it needs to go, we're going to give that new account the account number of 565. Five signifies that it is an expense account. The 65 shows that it comes in between the miscellaneous and the supplies on the chart of accounts. Now, if we are going to add another expense account, water expense, water expense is going to come after supplies. Remember, alphabetical order. So we're going to jump from 570, now we're going to go to 580. We're always going to leave that gap in there if we can, in case we're going to have another expense account that's going to come between supplies expense and water expense. 
Now, opening account. Opening account is really simple. It's simply writing an account title and number on the heading of that account form. So if we were going to open up our cash account, we're simply gonna write the word cash by the account name, and we're gonna write the account number by the account number. So cash is given the number 110. Okay, number one, it says describe the two parts of an account number. The first digit indicates which general ledger division the account is located. And then the second and third digits indicate where um, that account falls within that division. Number two, list the two steps for opening an account. You're going to first write the account title after the word account, and then you're going to write the account number after the account number. Um, I'm actually going to go back um, because it doesn't really describe some things that I want to spend some time on. So um, first of all, I, or what I really want to talk about, I'll stop here, um, is how we figure out the order of these different accounts. So I said with expenses, expenses is going to be alphabetical order. So notice when we look at those, this goes by alphabetical order. Okay. Um, revenue, right now we're only dealing with sales, so that's pretty easy. That's going to be our only account that we have. Um, when we look at assets, notice when we look at assets, those are not in alphabetical order. Um, the way that we figure out the order of assets is we figure out how, um, what their liquidity is. And liquidity means how easily it is changed into cash. And we list that by the highest liquidity to the lowest. So when we look at cash, cash is already cash. So this is always going to be the first. Then if we have a petty cash, that will be the second. And then we will put our accounts receivable. Now notice we have two accounts receivable. The way that we organize the accounts receivable is those are going to be by alphabetical order. Okay? Now, um, if we were to have, this is business, oops, sorry. These are business names, but let's say that we were to have um, an individual's name, so a first and last name. If that's the case, we're going to go by their last name, okay? alphabetical or by their last name. Okay? After accounts receivable, we have supplies and then prepaid insurance. Assets are always going to go in this order. Okay? Next grouping is our liabilities. If we look at our liabilities, we're going to have accounts payable. Those are liability accounts. Those are going to be alphabetical by the business. Remember, if it's an individual, we look at their last name. And then the last one is our owner's equity. Owner's equity is always going to be in this order. We're always going to have capital and then drawing. And then our income summary. Okay. All right, um, that is the end then of 4-1. You can go ahead and watch the 4-1 work together video.